I'm Landon Schott, author of Gay Awareness, Discovering the Heart of the Father and the Mind of Christ on Sexuality. People who struggle with same-sex attractions often ask, how do I respond to my same-sex attractions? We respond to our same-sex attractions the same way we do any temptation or any struggle, the heterosexual or the homosexual. You don't get to choose what you're tempted with, but you do get to choose how you respond to temptation. It's really important that you know this. Just because you're feeling temptation doesn't mean you're in sin. The enemy always tries to trick you to think that if you're feeling tempted, then you're bad or you're not delivered or you haven't overcome with Jesus. Think about it. Jesus knew temptation, but he knew no sin. He was tempted in the wilderness, but we know he didn't sin. You can resist temptation just like Jesus did with the power of the Holy Spirit. How do we resist temptation? Well, the Bible tells us in 2 Corinthians 5.10 that we take every thought captive and we make it obedient to the Word of God. That's how we respond to same-sex attractions, homosexual temptation, and all temptation. We take every thought captive. For the individuals that are worried that you're going to have to deal with this your entire life, here's what I would encourage you. The Bible says in Matthew 6, 34, don't worry about tomorrow. Let tomorrow worry about itself. Don't worry about next week, next month, next year, the rest of your life. A life of holiness is lived one day at a time. When dealing with homosexuality in Christianity, we must remember this. We must remain unrelenting with our love for people and unwavering in our loyalty to God's word.